रजिस्ट नाउ हेलो हाय नमस्ते दिस इज रवि आई एम आस्ट टीचर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एट वेदांत वेलकम टू दिस सेशन एवरीवन सो व्हाट इज दिस ओनली वन पर्सन स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इट राइट यस नॉट मेनी ऑफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द टेक्निक्स टू सॉल्व एमसीक्यूज which i am going to teach you today so ready for the session yes then let's get started before that if you are facing any of these problems if you are not facing well and good but if you want these bonuses also so just head to the link given in the description box and pin to comment choose your board grade and click on to the get subscription but if you want 20% discount would you like discount so use the coupon code surpro that additional 20% discount is from my side okay the coupon code is surpro that is surpro which most of you knows already okay so what is the first step i'm just getting right into the tips so never follow the sequence what sequence okay so generally what we do is what i used to do when i was a student is i used to always start from the last question i had this habit i don't know i always believe that if i start from the last question the question paper will be easy what kind of logic was that yeah but so never follow the sequence so i don't want you to start from the first question like first second do not follow that sequence last question last no so because what they do is they intentionally they put some difficult questions in between you know in those order only so you'll feel like yes first is easy yeah second yes i did it but the third question you will just sit and spend good amount of time trying to solve that question so it is very time consuming they want you to waste time See, whenever someone sets a paper, they don't want you to pass. They don't want you to crack it, right? So, with that intention, that's how they set the paper. So, obviously, the examiner or the person who has set the paper, they do not want you to pass it. So, they would have added some questions which are time-consuming and which are very difficult. So, if you want to follow the sequence, if you are just sitting there. so trying to solve the same question then obviously the questions which are easy which the questions which you are very sure of which you have practiced which you have learned then you won't get time to solve them so that is the reason never follow the sequence and attempt the question paper in three stages attempt the question paper in three stages that is in a first spend less amount of time maybe 15 to 20 minutes to answer the questions which you know ha pakka a hi hai pakka and then second stage mein so which you know but you are kind of confused like you know, maybe if you just spend some 1 minute or 2 minutes you will figure out the answer and then last stage hoga so where you are done with the these two stages where you are sure like we have answered you have attempted all the questions which you know then go for the last stage where you just have to try in keeping keep on key or o tukka or all that theek hai the next second tip is remember the direct values so of course in chemistry we do not have so many values to remember maybe the atomic masses or the avogadro number the gas constant 11th and 12th grade students and all that but try to remember the direct values so i don't want you to sit and you know uh, substitute the value in this formula and trying to find out the add value which you will be using it in some different formula because in competitive exams the time management is very 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 important so please utilize the time very smartly so try to remember the direct values see what happens if you practice a lot if you have gone through lot of question papers previous year question papers sample papers and all that you might have seen some values some formulas so 
which appears everywhere or very frequently right so try to remember those values and use approximations in calculations that is you know you have to just divide something by a Avogadro number so I don't want you to divide that number x by a Avogadro number just use 6 0 0.022 ko ignore karo See, but because anyway you will be having four options A, B, C, D. So the nearest one will be the right one. Because 6.022 se divide karna is kind of difficult. Hai na? So that is the reason use approximations in calculations that will save your time. And anyway, you will, the nearest answer will be the right one. The third point is elimination option method. So what is this elimination option method? So you have four different options, maybe H2SO4, NaOH, HCl, and HNO3. So remove offset values NaOH among assets. Why will it be the right one? So sometimes those options, the wrong options are so obvious. You can arams eliminate one option. So H2SO4, HCl, HNO3, they are assets. Obviously, NaOH cannot be the right answer. Right? Because they won't. They, they won't give such easy sequence of the options. So NaOH can be easily eliminated. So if you have all of the above or none of the above as one of the options in the MCQs, then 90% of the time that will be the right answer. So elimination option method. So try to remove the offset values and all of the above, none of the above here. So 90% of the above, 90% of the time that will be the right answer. So as I, if you don't, you know, if you're not very sure, please, whenever you're studying, whenever you're preparing, so try to observe all these tiny details, you know? So because whenever a person sets the question paper, they have they will have certain things in their mind, right? So and they have always followed it, they will follow it. So just go through the question papers and let me know if we are not right. So most probable option, hmm, it is very important. So now, okay, whatever you have, you have studied the questions which seemed easy, which you knew. So you have answered all of them. Now the thing is, you don't know what to do with the rest of the questions and you have some good amount of time with you. So what, you, what will you do? So you will have four options, right? For every question. See, option A most of the time for most of the questions option a is not the right answer option a is not the answer because even if i have to set a paper for example um uh, which organelle is called the powerhouse of the cell so i know the answer for this question and option a i'll always set the wrong wrong one. option a I'll say ribosome and then I'll go for mitochondria. This is the psychology of human beings. So option A generally will be the wrong one and option D also. So the answer, the right answer lies in the B or C. So option B or C most of the time will be the right option so a most of the time no 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 see these are this fourth trick is for the questions which you don't know you can't even think you can't even narrow down you cannot even eliminate the option then what you can do is so a b c d here so a option generally it is not the answer so b c d may d ka probability is also less so B or C hoga most of the time. So among between B and C also if you are not sure which is the right answer then go for B. Bus. 
so if you do not so if you want to verify these steps please go through the previous year question papers sample papers try to solve them observe all these points that is it practice bhi ho jayega yaar so study smart it is very very important for you to study smart and practice as much as you can so these tricks and um, whatever the strategies we teach is nice i want you to follow them but practicing working hard is also very very important so practice as much as you can so try to solve lots and lots of questions lots and lots of questions yes so what happens is whenever i look at the question paper if the question seems familiar so the chances are higher me getting that question right will be higher and if the question is completely new to you most of us cannot solve that question so what happens when you look at the large number of questions so when you practice a lot so obviously you would have seen every type of question all the type of questions so imagine if you have solved 30 questions and the other student your friend have solved 100 question so obviously for whom will it be easy you know so practice as much as you can so we will be there to help you uh, and to take you through this whole process so we have been started we have started solving the previous year question papers and i'm even teaching you the concepts like quantum numbers and all that so we will be always there but your efforts are also very very important so kone kone se top result aayega if you also want to be a topper and get up to 100% scholarship so enroll now and the registration is absolutely free and it is only till 29th november so fast 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 jaldi enroll karo and that is it if you want to take up the pro subscription you know the procedure the link is available in the description as well as in the pinned comment ha mera coupon code hai s u r p r o for additional 20% So that is it. Let me know in the comment section how was the video. Are you gonna follow these steps, or do you know any steps which you have been following while solving the MCQs? So I'll be waiting for your answers. Thank you so much till now. It was Sirabhi, our master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu. Bye bye. Take care.